Hi everyone and welcome to this video tutorial on how to edit an already rendered video template. So take note that this is applicable for both Canvas and Kinetic templates. And you can do this for an unlimited number of times within a maximum period of seven days without getting any deductions on your rendering points. Of course, after seven days, the edit button for that particular video will expire and you'll have to create another video. So currently I have opened a video that I've already customized for a Facebook fan page. So to change this, we can start by going to Kinetic. Under Kinetic, let's go to my videos. So here you can see all the videos that you've designed under Kinetic and Canvas. In order to edit a video, just go to the bottom right corner of the thumbnail and click on edit. In case you can't see the edit button, it's either the seven days have already passed and the edit button would have expired, or you can try clearing your cache or switching browsers. So let's go ahead and edit this video. So by clicking on the edit button, it will lead us to the create step during the video creation process. Here you can select the slides that you want to edit. You can change the text, change the image, remove the audio, or add a new one. Okay. So let's try and change the text on the first slide to welcome to Dropbox. And let's click Save. After you've applied all the changes that you want, go ahead and click on Render Video. Let's click on Save this video to my drive. Again, even though you're re-rendering the video, your renders will not be affected because technically you're only editing something that you've already created before. So let's go ahead and generate the video and let's wait for it to render under my videos. Let's wait for a couple of seconds or minutes and hopefully when I hit refresh, it will be done rendering. So now the video is done rendering. And we can click on the watch button to see if the change has been applied. So as you can see, the text has changed from welcome to my site to welcome to Dropmark. And in your case, if the changes don't seem to have been applied, you can go ahead and clear your cache or try using another browser. Usually that helps with the issue of changes not showing up on the newly rendered video. That's it for today. Thank you for listening.